Hello, it's DM here, and as you probably know, this we got a new camera. I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to the Patreons who have supported me over the last four or five months. We've been stacking and saving all of that up for the camera, as well as all of the people who helped us out through Twitch and you by watching these YouTube videos. All of those methods have saved us up enough money that we got a new camera, so I want to just say thank you at the beginning of this video. Uh, pretty exciting. Upgrades are slowly coming to the channel. So I got it where I can very easily two key the Nightmare Boss. Now I'm slowly working towards Ultra Nightmare. So we're going to test out Ultra Nightmare teams that I have. I have two different variations I want to try. I want to try with Apothecary and with Skull Crusher. So let's go see how much damage we can do. Okay, so here's the team I'm currently running. Really, kind of the healing is relying on Bad Elk Zar plus maybe Apothecary for spot healing. There is no lifesteal on this team. Uh, and the problem, major problem with this team is I don't really have a way of dealing with the punches. Since Bad Elkazar is the lead and he's the one that dispels the debuffs, when he gets punched it's a pretty bad deal and I think that's, that's reducing a lot of my damage here. Here we go, it's starting to get pretty difficult, right around the five and a half minute mark with this team. Apothecary has died and we're probably not going to live through a couple more of the big AoEs. Ooh, and as I say, that punch takes out Rosin. Kind of curious how much damage I do. I think the record I've had for Ultra Nightmare Auto at the moment with this variant of this team is only like 13 million or something. Uh, so it's a pretty far drop from where I was with Standard Nightmare. I'm, I'm hoping that I can get this team a little bit better sorted with gear and the correct speeds and maybe get pick up a better counterattack at some point. So there we go, 15.5. That's actually a new record for me when it comes to Ultra Nightmare. So let's try it now with the Skull Crusher variant. So currently, it's going pretty well. We're two minutes in. The counterattack's doing its job. We're keeping uh, attack down consistently. I did book Altan, and Nethro is fully booked except for the cooldowns. I actually have him booked for Clan Boss, so his basic attack is fully maxed, and his other two moves, the AoEs, are both maxed for everything except the cooldowns. That way, on auto, he defaults to the basic attack more commonly. But I still don't really have a way of dealing with the with getting punched for bad L. I have this kind of idea where maybe I, what if I put Foley in the leader spot, tried to get him punched, even in Ultra Nightmare. I don't know if that would work, but I kind of like testing out all this stuff. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow on my next clan boss keys. And I forgot to buy the wall charger, so the battery just ran out of my camera, and we're back to the webcam. So check this out. 13.91 using Skull Crusher. We actually did more with the Apothecary for the time being. I don't think my Skull Crusher is quite optimized yet. I'll have to work on that in the future. Just realized I actually have seven minutes to go through and beat this. So I am gonna, I'm just rushing through, guys. We got to go, go, go. I'm going to try to beat the Undead one while I can. I totally forgot to do the Faction Wars in time. I got messing around with the camera trying to fix it. Oh, no! Thank God these people are all AoE. So we're going to chew through this quickly. We just got to rush. We got to rush, man, because I got five minutes to do this one, and then we got to do <laughs> we got to do the Banner Lords, which is going to be, I don't even know how I'm going to do the Banner Lords. I guess Triple triple Champ Fort, Double Black Knight, Double Black Knight, Double Champ Fort, and Sethalia. I don't know. We're going to have to look. It's been about a minute, and I think we're on stage three already, so we're going pretty good. On the stage four, no problem here. And really, this is getting hard carried by Scortorus just because he's one-shotting everybody over and over again. Makes this pretty easy. Okay, another one bites the dust. Let's go, 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 go. Come on, stage six. Let's, we're, we're really chewing through these. This is a speed run here. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a speed one, and we're on to the boss. Okay, this should be no problem. And we got, what, four legendaries in Gorgorab. Uh, we're, yeah, we're going to chew through this easy peasy. Okay, here we go. We're on the boss. Get some good damage from... I almost called him Mauzahar for some reason. Bad Elkazar. He's got a pretty decent amount of health, it looks like. He actually resisted. And my, uh... My bad... Wow, he actually, uh... Okay. My bad out got resisted. And he has, like, 230, 240 accuracy on there. Looks like we're still good, though. Okay, got the revives in. Poison's up. We got the continuous heal going. No problem. Okay, this one's taking a bit. This is like a minute for this one. We got to get going to the Banner Lords. We don't got much time. There we go. We got to beat. First try. We don't even have time to look at anything. We got to go, 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 go. Oh, oh, no. We need to grab more Banner Lords out of the vault. Oh, no. How long we got? Three minutes? Oh, we got to go. 
We gotta go, 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 go. Where's my champ forts? I'm calling out the Richtofs. I'm calling out the champ forts. I'm calling out the Black Knights. And Lugans. All of you. We need all of you. Come on. Okay, there, there, and you, and you, and you, and you. There. Go, go, go. <laughs> I can't believe Banner Lords is the is the full legendary team. Out of all of the people I have, Banner Lords is going to be in the being the the people that are not going to repeat legendary. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get through this quickly. Okay, another one done. Let's go, 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 go. I'm, I don't know how much longer we got. We got minute. We got like a minute, maybe two minutes. I don't think we're gonna make it to the boss, but we're gonna try to get as far as we can. Part of the reason this is taking forever is because this team is like a lot of like buffs and only attacking one person at a time. And we're doing like 40 second runs when really we should be like the undead and just clearing these out in 10, 11 seconds. Probably going to wrap it up. Looks like it's having trouble loading. And I guess that's the last one we're going to get in for the Banner Lords. We made it to like stage four or something. I didn't make it that far, unfortunately. Um, I should have started a few minutes earlier. We would have been all right. All right, so now it's technically the next Faction War day, and I am on stage eight of both the Night Revenant and the High Elf Crypt. So we're going to go through those. I'm going to progress a little bit, and I'll start showing you where it gets difficult. Okay, so it's not really too bad so far. We're still going first. We're getting good openers. We're getting one or two of them dead before they really get to go. So, so far, not as bad as I was thinking. I saw the level 130, 140, and I started to get like, hey, wait a minute, mini panic attacks, but maybe it's not so bad. So I got all the way to stage 11 so far. This is the last stage I'm going to be able to do because it takes three keys at this point, and I'm just not going to have enough keys. And all I'm really using is Apothecary and Tayrell with a Lifesteal set, a just kind of classic clan boss type of duo, and they're really soloing everything. I'm, we're going to watch this one in its entirety because this is the farthest I'm going to get. Now, both my Royal Guard and the level 2 person there, I forget who it is, Exemplar or something, um, I'm not I'm not having them geared at the moment. Their gears got ripped off and put on somebody else. So they're weak, as you can see. Really, this is Apothecary and Tayrell. So it's going to be interesting to see if, once we get to stages like 14, where the second boss is, if they're going to be able to carry. Because I think I'm going to be able to carry through these normal stages, even if it's a little, a little long of a grind. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with the second boss. But I won't find out today. We're going to find out next time the crypt opens. All right, we finally beat it. A minute, 40 seconds. Round one is down. Here we go. Round two. Okay, so this is actually a problem. They put healing reduction, and there goes Apothecary. Uh, Maybe we're going to have to put gear on Royal Guard. There he goes. Down goes Tyro. Okay, I'm going to go add some more gear on, and we're going to try it again. Okay, I went ahead and cloned Royal Guard, made a son of his, and got gear on everybody, as well as I'm going to use the ally defense lead instead, and I think we got it this time. All right, we're going to have to try this again. Well, I've tried it a couple different ways, and I still can't beat it. I'm probably going to have to go put some good gear on these guys, even more than what I have. This does really make me think that Faction Wars is going to be hard. I mean, look at what we're dealing with here. Double Royal Guard, Lissandra, Apothecary. They do have gear on them. Tayrell, Lissandra, and Apothecary are all geared pretty well. Royal Guards are geared like okay to bad. But we, it's only stage 11. So this is probably going to be pretty hard, guys, once we get to like stage 20. Borderline like the in-game boss. With a manually beat it, but for some reason the recording didn't work. I just had to play it manually to get it to work. And I was able to beat the last stage because what was happening was Tyrell was continually using his preemptive strike over and over again or using his defense down when people had like the block debuffs. And he was just increasing the length of how long they were unkillable. And that's what was going on. So I had to go and I went back and I fixed that and played manually and we beat it. Stage 12, I won't be able to try, but we'll be able to try out this boss next time the crypt opens. And instead, I got to move along. I got to do the Night Revenant now. Okay, this is not near as bad over on the Night Revenant side of things. I have Solus, I have Tomb Lord, I have Doom Priest. I have a little bit more of a real team. I have some debuffs, I have some buff ups, I got cleanses, a little bit of heal. We should probably be okay on the Night Revenant side on auto, no problems. I'm just going to go through and do these now. 
So the Night Revenant hasn't been so bad for me. I had to go back and add a little bit more gear. But this is stage 10 here uh, between Skull Crown, Doom Priest, Solus, and Tomb Lord. Uh, I'm really I'm doing all right. I should be okay. Uh, the Doom Priest is kind of keeping us a little bit healthy and cleansing the debuff. Skull Crown dealing damage. And then Solus is increasing the duration as well as kind of being the tank. And Tomb Lord's adding the debuffs as well. Uh, the unfortunate part of Skull Crown is only level 50. And I have some very squishy gear on her. I think I just got crit damage and crit rate type stuff on her right now so she's dying pretty quick but for the most part it's getting carried by just this three here you're seeing okay that's going to wrap it up for today uh i'm gonna have to work a little bit more on the night revenant side things the high elf i just barely got through the night revenant needs some work my undeads are going to be pretty good and so are the banner lords it looks like so hopefully i can use those guys as my ringers to chew through and get to the lair stages and see how hard it's going to be all right guys thank you very much for watching this progression video i hope to see you on my next live stream uh the link will be in the description down below and i'll throw it on screen here i love you all and have a great day